Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable printer sharing in the Windows Sandbox on Windows 10. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Star menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to go back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that, and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, and then select Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be kept at all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer if you ever needed to restore it back. And if you ever needed to import it back in, or restore it basically, you just would select File and then Import, and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now ready to begin. So you want to double click on the HKEY local machine folder to begin, and then do the same thing for the software folder, same thing for policies, same thing for Microsoft, do the same thing now for Windows. And then finally, there should be a sandbox folder in here. Just left click on that one time. Please take note of the file path up at the top of our window here if you need to pause the video and take note if you're going a little bit slower. You can see each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So now on the right side, now you have selected sandbox, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. You want to name this value allow clipboard redirection exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, allow clipboard redirection, no spaces, and the first letter of each word should be capitalized. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now that you've done that, you want to make sure the value data is set to zero, which it should be by default. So if you double click on it, again, value data should be zero. Select OK. Now that you've done that, you can close out of the registry editor. Restart your computer for the change to take effect, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.